you know the first video i ever made on my second channel has a lot of views and it still gets a lot of comments today basically iterating the same issues people saying oh my god i accidentally deleted windows or oh i can't access windows anymore i wish i could restore it how do i recover windows an easy way would have been to back up their windows image and then restore it later on and a software like this called clone go would have helped them there the company called ice and share reached out to me to check out their tool so let's do it the tool gives you a bunch of features which allows you to copy your windows operating system as a backup basically into another drive so you can restore it at a later date if something happens to your current version you can also copy your entire disk to another external disk so if you have some important data and you want to preserve that data as it is along with the partitions you can do that so once you install it this is something you will see you get four options copy backup restore and then disk clone you can even create a boot disk for windows which is pretty cool many people usually download a separate app to do so here it's built into it i'm just gonna unlock the full version which they have given me so I can test out the features and if you want to make a copy of your Windows operating system we'll be using this copy feature first connect your SSD or a hard disk drive to your PC and then head over to this copy option in the clone go tool keep the source partition as the C drive and the target partition should be your whichever drive it is in my case it's F drive click on start it'll warn you that all the data in that target drive will be overwritten click OK and then wait for a while it may take some time to display the total size and the the amount of time left depending on how large your operating system image is it can be somewhere around 150 to 180 gigabytes and again depending on the SSD speed it may take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes just wait for it to say copy completed successfully and now you can boot into it basically we have now converted this ssd into a windows bootable ssd and if you open up that ssd using file manager you can see that it has been populated with c drive folders and now you can just go to your target machine wherever you want to use this drive and if there is already a drive in that machine you will have to go into BIOS and change the boot order. Now heading over to BIOS is a fairly straightforward option. You usually have to press the F2 key when the system is booting up. A simple Google search will reveal the answer so there is no need to worry. Once you are in your BIOS you will have to go to the boot order. Usually it will be a shortcut in newer machines but if you are in an older machine the process is basically the same like you go to boot and you use either the F5 and F6 keys to toggle the boot order. So it's from top down whichever is on the top will be the first priority. Make sure you have kept this drive as the first priority and then press F10 to save and exit. So next time when you boot up this drive that you have connected should be booting into windows. So basically that's your boot drive now and that's the copy you just made. The process is same regardless of which windows version you are on whether it's 10 or 11 it should work the same way. I recommend an SSD over a hard disk drive because it's much faster and you can just get a SATA SSD and convert it using the adapter that I showed you. I'll link both of these in the description if you want to pick one up. They are super fast, very affordable and are a great alternative to say a regular hard disk drive. Let's try backing up our system shall we. I'm gonna back up the D drive for the sake of simplicity and speed. I'll assign it to a folder on the desktop so we can easily find it. You can directly keep it on an external storage drive as well. Okay there we go it says successfully backed up. Let's see what we have in the folder. And that ICG file that you see is the backup of that partition which you selected. So if that one partition was very important to you, you can safely keep it somewhere as a backup and then restore it later on. If you don't want to go partition by partition, you can backup the entire disk as I mentioned by using the disk clone feature. If at all your Windows version gets corrupt or something happens down the line, you just have to fresh install a new version and then restore it from here. And yes, you can also make a bootable disk directly using this tool. It will download all the required files by itself so you don't have to spend time searching. Their servers may be a little bit slow. so I share if you could improve your file server speed that'll help out users download your files but yeah all these utilities which are always going to be useful will be available for a one-time fee of like 19 dollars you know if you're someone who plays around with different operating systems all the time with multi-boot configurations then this may be handy for you you can probably even make a backup of one system and then restore it in other places if you want like the same environment there so yeah check it out i'll leave a link in the description and thanks again to ice and share for partnering with us in this video